Hello everyone. Let's go ahead and begin. So here, what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to R. So here's R. It's nice. And so let me explain a couple of things first. So I don't like how this looks. So what I tend to do, I mean, the white background is nice, but what I tend to do is always start off by changing the background. So what you're going to first do is click on tools, go to global options, click appearance, and then it says editor of theme. Um, you have all these different options. You can choose whatever one you like. I'm trying to find my favorite one. That works. Okay. Cobalt apply hit. Okay. That works. So the next thing to note is something called the R console. So the R console is what you can, it's a, it's a big calculator. So what you can do is do seven divided by three, gives your answer. You have four times three gives you an answer. You have things that are already st stored in R that can allow you to do fast calculations. So like, say for example, you want to do the absolute value of a number. So absolute value is just removing the negative sign. So you take absolute, right? Of four minus 10, this should give, a, give us a positive six. And let's say if you want to take the square root, there's another function. Okay, a function allows us to do quick um, calculations. Another function, the square root of, um, 56, for example, we get 7.483315. There are a lot of functions that exist. So just know that, be aware of that. And, um, yeah. Another thing that I don't like, at least the current setup, because as soon as you download it, this is the current setup. So one of the things I don't like is the console being to your left. I get to be on my right. And as you can see, something automatically popped up. And that's what I call a text editor. So here in this console, the console moved to my right. That's nice. And the reason why I like doing this is so that I can have my calculator on my right. And here this text editor says unentitled one allows me to store my information. So if I wanted to add two numbers here, I would just do five plus three. And if I am a Mac user, I'm going to press command enter. Or if I am a windows user, I'm going to press control enter. So when I do that, it runs, it runs. Okay. And so and you can see that here in the editor. Okay. You can see it here within the editor. All right. So one thing that you can also do is you want to start from scratch with regards to a new editor. All you have to do is press command shift N, and you can get a new editor. Okay. Another thing that you can do is say, for example, you have some really cool work that you've been working on. You've been plotting, you've been, you know, you know, uh, doing statistics. <laughs> You know, one of the things that you can do is comment what, what's going on here. And so in order for you to comment, you just start at the beginning and press command or shift uh, three. You just put a pound sign in front of in front of whatever you are writing and it will just comment it. So meaning that when I run the line, nothing occurs, no, no calculations will occur. No, be calculated so I can just run the line. Nothing will happen. If I want to save my file, I press file and then save as. And I can save it in whatever folder I would like to. Ideally, you should save it in the folder that you created for the class. Okay. And we'll go from there. So you just say save. Let's say scratch. And... Voila.